Hey guys, we got a message here from a person that's wondering a question about Samsung Galaxy S2. Seems like he is rooting and trying out different firmware and stuff like that. So he said, hey, sorry for the unexpected message. I need some help here. I have no idea what I've done to my phone. Well, no, but still you will be the expert to ask. I have the Galaxy S2 on 9200 xx LPH that was running stock firmware. I changed the ROM to Lithium ROM and I didn't like it. Then I realized that I didn't know how to go back. Okay, so let me just stop here. This is uh, uh, something that the common mistake that people forget. Like how 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 should I go back? Basically, what you have to do is first of all, uh, you need to flash um, Clockwork mode to your device, or this is one of the ways you can do it. Flash Clockwork mode to your device, or have it already in the firmware. Uh, you know, so it will replace the stock recovery. And uh, you you basically just go in there, you back up your current uh, data and you know firmware and stuff like that. Make a backup, and then when you go ahead and install a new ROM, a new firmware, be sure that that one is uh, you know updating and also have Clockwork mod, so you can go ahead and uh, go back. Okay, I didn't, and then also there is a program called. Uh, let's see here, titanium backup, you should be able to back up your whole phone, but then you need to have a root uh, ROM already to fix that. Uh, okay, I didn't like it, then realized that I didn't know how to go back to my original ROM that shipped with my phone, and I don't know if I have rooted my phone or not. Um, it's rooting, okay, you don't know if you have root, uh, you rooted your phone or not. There is a perfect app in the Android market called, you know, you used to type in check root, and then you basically be able to download that app and see if you have root installed. It's, it's a very, very easy app, and you should go ahead and uh, check that out. It's rooting okay. Yes, rooting is okay, then you get like, then you can like install like every single app and that's kind of nice. If I install the Lithium ROM, I, I can run apps that need root. And if I install the XXLPH 4.0.3 from Sam Firmware, then I can't run apps that need root. Um, that one, you know, Sam Firmware, they always release, you know, official Samsung firmwares and they never come with root uh, like uh, when, when you get it. But you can go ahead and you know use Google. I found you know use right now root Samsung Galaxy S2 running XX LPH firmware with CF root and CF root is something kind of interesting. Uh, it, it's a very easy rooting method. So let's say you are running on Android 2.3.4. You go ahead and, and go inside to see exactly the model name of the firmware. You know those XX uh, and stuff like that that you can see. Uh, if you find a CF root for that, if you find a, a, the same kernel with the same name over there, you can just go ahead and restart your phone, go go back into download mode, use flash over that kernel, uh, and basically what you will have then is root, uh, but then you need to be sure that it's the same kernel with the same kind of name, you know, the ending name uh, over there, and if it is, you, you know, you don't even have to... It's, it's a very, very easy root method, and uh, it's it's kind of cool. But yeah, I found this article, how to root Samsung Galaxy S2, XSLPH. But you just need to replace um, the kernel that you're running right now with this root kernel. And it's very easy to, to do in Odin. But this is a Swedish um, kind of article, but they have the download link here. I mean, basically what you just have to do here is, uh, you know, select as PDA in Odin when you're in download mode and then you just, uh, go ahead and uh, go ahead and flash it. But the thing is that uh, you need to be sure that it's exactly the same firmware as you're running or else you may get some issues. But uh, you should go ahead and research a little bit about CF root. It's a very, very cool way to root because it's so extremely deadly simple to do. Uh, what can I do to get my original Samsung firmware back? Uh, what you basically can do is just go ahead and go to YouTube. I have a video on how to install under 2.3.4 stock. Or you can just go to samfirmware.com and uh, select a stock ROM, you know, where you can go ahead and download firmware. It's free, of course. Go ahead and select one that's in your region. Go with under 2.3.4, 2.3.7. I, I, I would, uh, you know... Pick someone on the latest that would probably be the best. Not Android 4.0 ICS because they are in beta right now. So they, you know, all of those that's on Android 2.3, they are kind of stable. But all of them, you know, all of those other new ones, those are kind of unstable because they're trying out new things and trying to 
make it better all the time. Um, what can I get? Okay, so I had something like 2.3.5, something like that. I can't recall exactly. I mean, that, that's fine. You know, you don't have to go exactly back to 2.3.5. You can go back to 2.3.4 probably, and, you know, whatever you now feel like. When I tried to connect it with keys, it wouldn't update my software. Yeah, that's something also. First of all, keys sucks, but uh, after, after you've installed, you know, custom firmware, you will never be able to use keys again. You have to go back to the official firmware. So, I mean, you, you just go to sunfirmware.com, uh, download uh, uh, the firmware that you want, go ahead and flash it using Odin, or you can just go ahead and wait a few days here because from what we have heard, something should be releasing the official Android 4.0 ICS firmware with the uh, pro yeah, touch with UI here in March, and it's uh, March the 1st right now where I live. So that basically means that uh, it's probably gonna be here out pretty soon, but uh, it could also take a few weeks but uh, from what I've heard, it, it should come out here pretty quickly. So I suggest that you just go ahead and wait. You know, you just uh, chill out a little bit. I mean, Root is something that's cool and a lot of apps need it. You know, some cool hardcore apps. But I suggest that you either just go ahead and wait a few weeks or let you go ahead and, you know, just go back to the official uh, firmware. The Samsung firmware. I mean, I, mean, I just did show you that I have an Android 2.3.4 how to install stock. No, I think the downlinks in this video has expired, but uh, I mean, I still think the full name is over there, so you can just go ahead and go to sunfirmware.com and find the right model for you. But uh, it's actually not that hard, but it, it can take some time to get the, the correct firmware and stuff like that, and uh, you know, rooting and stuff like that, uh, it, it takes time to get used to, but then, you know, w when you become more experienced, you will be able to do it much easier. And Odin is, um, you know, the, my favorite method of flashing, or, you know, you just go ahead and install zip file from a clockwork mode. Um, yeah, so a very, very quick video response here to a PM I got on my YouTube page. See.